All right, so here we are. We got our secret sauce here. I still don't know what to call this. Probably secret sauce number 10. No fish eggs. So I'm gonna put this somewhere that it gets some heat from the sun and last longer. This one I put way over here underneath the leaves. See that? And we'll see if they had good control in controlling these little flies. All right, so I'll let you know how that works out. And there it is. Mm -hmm. There it is. And the third one, right here. All right, there you go. Look at those strawberries. Look at that one. Over here. All right. Look at these coming along. Oh, uh, look what we got here. We got a visitor. Whoa, <laughs> he almost gave me a haircut. All right, this is Jay from the Blue Garden signing off. Okay, welcome to the Blue Garden. We're gonna do some science work here. All right, so this is where I've been feeding my strawberries. And we're gonna take a look under the microscope to see exactly what it is. Or what's going in there. So let me see if I could do this. Okay. Not too much. Okay, I think we got it right there. So, just get a little paper, wipe this down. Okay, and we see what kind of microorganism we've been feeding our strawberries. And then later on, I'll tell you what this is. All right, so the first thing we have to do is, uh, it's a gent gentle roll like this for a couple of seconds well a couple of, eh, you know maybe a minute it's not a hard shake it's a gentle roll we don't want to uh, uh, the microorganisms we don't want to put that through a hurricane it's just to stir it up make sure everybody's well mixed it's just a gentle roll, you gotta remember that. A lot of people don't know, and it'll do a violent shake. And it just takes, a, you know, under a minute, a minute or two, that's what they say. One to two minutes. But, uh, you know, it's just a gentle roll. You can see how the liquid is just rolling there. It's not a violent shake. All right. Okay, so now I'm gonna take it over to the slide, put one drop on the slide, put a cover sheet on it, and put it under the microscope. All right, see you under the microscope. Okay, we're going to get a specimen here, where the pipe. And we're just gonna put one drop. Okay. Putting the rest of the solution away. Putting the cap, so 
nothing spill. And I get our covers glass and gently just roll it. You saw that? Okay. All right. Let me see if I could just bring that over. And then we'll put it right on. And I just wanted to show you this part here that each specimen here has its own bottle and own pipette. So there is no cross contamination. And you put them both together. So you know that's the one if you want to get a second sample. Each bottle has its own. So there is no cross contamination. All right, we'll set this up and then we'll show you on the screen. What All right, let's see what we see under the microscope. 10X. And there we go. There. Okay, we got life in here. Let me just, uh, just this. We got some floating air bubbles in there. Just gotta make some more room here. Okay, so I have to use both hands now. All right. Well, I think we got. Now let's take a look. Got something running there. I don't know what they are. I thought they were. They're um, air bubbles, but they're not. All right, let's kick up the magnification. Make sure they're still on the screen. You know, they ran away. There they are. All right, folks, this is all live. All right, let's uh, kick up the magnification here to our uh, 40X. There we go. Found the light source. <laughs> See that? There we go. All right, let's just adjust the light. There we go. Now... It's a little bit better for you guys. Okay, here we go. Whoa, look at that. We got something. These little buggers, they really can run. All right, so we're interesting here. We do, whoa, look at that bugger here. We got life. What are we looking at here? All those little round ones. It looks like bacteria. Whoa. See that one run across the screen? As you see here on the screen, you can see all this life. These are the microorganisms that help your plants grow healthy and strong to fight off disease. All living plants, organisms, have microorganisms in there. 
and they work together. They work at the root zone, bring the plant, the nourishment they get from the soil. This is why your soil is so important to have healthy, rich with vitamins, nutrients. It's not just peat moss and wood chips. Wood chips take the nitrogen from the soil so the wood chips can decompose. This is not healthy. This is why some of your plants turn yellow or brown because they don't have the right microorganisms feeding and disturbing nutrients to the plant or the root zones. So, look at that. So as you see here on the screen, you see little particles, of, these are like all the microorganisms, but what you want to see if there's life, movement, then you know you have the micros in there. If nothing moves and it's just staying there, then the little specks you see there are mostly bacteria, and all bacteria is not healthy for your plant. These microorganisms, they do eat bacteria. So there is bacteria in every living organism, even in our cells, in our body, we have bacteria. But what you want to see here is different shapes and length, and you know they're not bacteria. Bacteria are usually just round little dots. So these microorganisms, they eat bacteria and other protozoas and other microbes and what they estimate out is what beneficial to the plant. So when you have a diversity of microorganisms, it's very healthy and your plant grows nice and strong. As you see here, different particles and microorganisms make your plant grow strong and fruitful. So this is a good time to say what's in your soil, how are your plants living, how are your plants growing. Um, you should have a soil sample or even send me a little baggie of your soil and I have to put it under the microscope here and shoot a video and you can see your soil, what kind of bacteria is growing in your soil. This is all fascinating, and it's the way plants are grown, healthy and strong. So, maybe you might be interested in sending me a little baggie of your soil so I have to put it under the microscope so you can see what you have. Very fascinating if you look at all the living life, which they call microorganisms, the world of organism. Now would be a good time to hit that like button and help out the channel. If you haven't subscribed, it would be a perfect time to subscribe. Uh, we're reaching the end of the, under the microscope and you'll see how the fruits 
appears to be growing so you can see with your own eyes what microorganisms do to your plant and fruit. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share and like it. And I, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. It helps the channel. And be sure to hit that like button, please. I would really appreciate if you hit the like button. Alright, have a good day. Enjoy.